This is Good Morning San Diego. Typically, when you travel to other countries and even states hold their own customs, traditions, or normalcies. So while visiting, it can be very important to show proper etiquette. Coming up, we've got an etiquette expert in studio to explain exactly what to do and where, plus all the rules you need to know. That's coming your way in just a couple minutes. Well, traveling to places you've never been is great, but it's important to be respectful of your customs or your destination's customs, I should say. And here to teach us proper vacation etiquette is etiquette expert Marianne Parker. Marianne, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. You are somebody who travels a lot. Yes, I do. What are the basics that we need to know about well, traveling? Well, it's a summertime and we live in one of the best cities in the United States, but we still like to travel and to explore other places. So the first thing first, uh, first good impression is very important. So put a smile on, adjust your attitude and just go, be nice be friendly, be pleasant to the people around you. And when you go to the airport and to the airplane, this is where it becomes interesting mm -hmm. because there are a lot of rules that you have to follow if you want to be a pleasant uh, traveler. For example, if you uh, are very unlucky and you have the middle seat, you, at least the silver lining, is that you can use the armrest. So the person on the left and the person on the right, if they decide to use it, they should ask you first. Of course, not if you're sleeping mm. because th this is not going to be very nice from them. If you like to sleep, don't book a seat close to the alley. Book a seat that is close to the window because you're not going to be disturbed and you're not going to be disturbing anybody, anybody as well. Also, if you decide to recline your chair, you always have to make sure that the person behind you doesn't have some kind of a hot beverages and it's not going to be a disaster. So, of course, it's your right to recline, but also you want to be very cautious about certain little elements. Um, be nice to the crew, be nice to everybody. Sometimes if you are drinking and if you decide to sleep um, but for some reason you can't and mm -hmm. you decide to be chit chatty people are going on a vacation as well just like you are sure so probably you should be very uh, cautious about it as well so just uh, mind your business read your book or just be nice be courteous to, be people, courteous around to you. people around you absolutely yeah. also one uh, very important thing pay attention to your hygiene because literally we sit uh, away from each mm -hmm. other in six inches yes it is so close that if you don't don't pay attention to um, common sense like that, which is not necessarily always common practice. That's true. You won't be very favorable. Yeah, because you, you, everybody's got stories of what's things yes, that have happened to them. Yes, and you don't want to be one of those people, and especially now with the social media and the uh, um, uh, videos right. and the pictures, and you can be really easily recognized who sure. you are. And for example, if you decide to go on a cruise, this is a very interesting, and I don't know if you know, but every year for the last decade, 7% is increased. Freezing. Everybody's going on a cruise for some reason. Really? Yes, and I think because it's so pleasant, you know, you're so pampered, everything is so perfect, and you feel like you're in, a, in paradise. But of course, if you don't follow certain rules, you um, are not going to have a very nice time. Also, the people around you won't have a nice time. Um, I, I want to suggest if you're going for, on a cruise for a first time, for example, you need to know that there are a few very dressy occasions. So you need to bring some kind of a formal attire because mm -hmm. you don't want to feel outcast you don't want to be different than everybody else and it's very luxurious place you know why not you can treat yourself for example if I travel with my kids I usually make sure that I bring everything for them and I kind of forget to bring certain things for me mm. but I make sure that I bring uh, you, you don't need to bring millions of uh, outfits but you want to look like a million dollars and you can really navigate uh, the dress code very easily just be aware of that also about the gratuity you have to know that uh, the tipping is actually included in your package in some cruises is up to uh, probably from 10 to 14 dollars per person mm. it is not based on age it's not based on cabin uh, so you have to make sure that um, you are aware of that but at the same time if you have a person who helps your cabin and sometimes they assign somebody who is the, through the whole cruise uh, this person if you tip him from the beginning mm. if you pay attention if you uh, treat him well they even remember your name they remember your kids name they know everything they, they're so interested about uh, you being pampered and uh, being comfortable on the cruise that um, you don't need anybody else. Mm. So um, you have to make sure that you want to tip them as well, mm -hmm. you know, even if uh, everything is included in the gr gratuity because the gratuity goes for the whole, sh uh, the whole ship, mm -hmm. you know, just for this particular individual. So um, I suggest for you to put uh, probably five, ten, fifteen dollars uh, uh, based on, uh, on how many people you are inside mm -hmm. the cabin, but at the same time, don't put it on the 
on the pillow. Put it on something like a little envelope and write, uh, this is for housekeeping, and don't do it in the end of the cruise because there is no point. If you put it in the end of the cruise, you know, the, the gentleman or the, the lady, they didn't know that you're gonna tip them, so you might be a little bit more average for them. So those are basic uh, rules, but if you're on port, if you go on port, you need to follow certain rules because sometimes can be physically dangerous. Mm. You know, they tell you, you um, if you're in this country, uh, there are certain rules, but maybe you didn't hear. Um, do what they tell you and always have change. And I, um, I've i seen it many times uh, when you're in the middle of a river cruise and somebody asks, oh, do you guys have a change for $100? Nobody has a change for $100 in the middle of the river cruise. Mm -hmm. So you have to, uh, I know that we all can do it. Just a little attention to lit little details go a long way. So um, basically this is it. Um, there are a lot of things we can talk about, but. Um, yeah, but I, I think you, you, you got the basics out of the way. Be courteous. <laughs> Very. Have good hygiene. Yes. <laughs> On a cruise, it's a good idea to tip up front. You should. Because if you do at the beginning, every time you come back to your yes. cabin, they're probably going to make those uh, animals they'll out of towels. They'll do anything. They're right? so nice because they know that they'll be treated. Uh, just yeah. remember not to do it in the end. In some countries, I have to tell you that very quickly because if you put it on the pillow, um, they have a different mentality. They don't really know that you're tipping them. They probably mm. think that you're testing them. Oh, okay. So you have to That's really indicate that this is for tipping and is for housekeeping because uh, they won't take the tip and you really want them to, to enjoy, yeah. you know, the way you do enjoy. And if you've got a loud family and you decide to wake up very early every single morning, just make sure that not everybody likes to wake up very early right. in the morning. Just keep it down, like tune it and probably one, two percent. <laughs> Be so courteous to be those courteous around you. to everybody around you. All right, Marianne Parker, that's some Thank great you. advice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you.